Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question. If you have created object type variable that you want to use in the script test later, how will you load the data into the object type variable in control flow? Which task will help? First of all, we need to understand what is object type variable. Object type variable is the ADO record set type variable that can hold multiple records in the memory. So let's go to the SSDT and bids and see what task we can use to populate this object type variable. So first of all, create a object type variable. I'm going to call this one region list. And uh, the type of this one is going to be object. The next part is uh, use the execute SQL task to populate the object type variable. So we are going to the execute SQL task configuration. I have selected OLEDB as I'm reading the data from the SQL server. So I'm selecting my connection manager. And then uh, I will be pasting a query that I prepared. So in this one, I'm reading first name and region code from a table. I'm copying this one, go into the SQL statement and paste the statement directly there. Next part is uh, selecting the result set type. So in this case, what we have, we have single row. If there is a single row with multiple columns, then you need to select this one. If you have uh, multiple columns or a single column with multiple rows, then you need to select full result set. In our case, it is true. So we need to select full result set and then go to result set and save the value in the object type or records in the object type. So hit add. Now it's automatically took the region list variable. So here in the result name, we have to provide it zero. One thing is a little confusing here in the execute SQL task, it still give you add button here. So you can add multiple results here, but that doesn't work. So in each of the execute SQL tasks, you can only populate one object type variable. I, I did try a couple of times and uh, that's what my ex experiment or that's my, my experience is. If somebody has a way to do it, I would be like gl glad to hear and get educated. So um, let's move to the next one and hit OK. So what we are doing by using the execute SQL task, we are saving the our result coming from the SQL query into the object type variable. We can run it and the, this ran successfully. It means uh, now our records are in the memory and if we need to use for the next task, we could have used a for each loop container and uh, then use this uh, object type variable or we could have used a script task and read the uh, data from the object type variable and use for different purpose. Next part, uh, we, we can use a data flow task as well. Let me disable this one for now and open the data flow task. Read the data from the source. Uh, in our case, we are reading the data from the OLEDB source. So that's our SQL table. Double click and then select uh, your uh, connection manager and then select the query or a table. In my, my case, I have the query written. So I'm selecting first name and uh, region code from the customer table. Uh, click on columns. Next, uh, to load the data, in, data into the object type variable, we need to use a record set destination. So select that one, connect with the source, double click. And now you need to select uh, the name of the variable in which you want to save the values uh, or the records uh, come in or returned uh, from your SQL query. So here you need to select the columns. You, you can select all of the columns if you want. You can remove some of them if you don't need them. And uh, in my case, I want both both of them, first name and region code. Hit OK. So next part is uh, we can run our SSIS package and see if data flow is able to load the records in the object type variable. So it did. Uh, that, that's pretty much it. Uh, the same thing I have told you for uh, execute SQL task. You can use execute SQL task or data flow task and uh, populate the records in the object type variable and then use in the for each loop container or use in the script task. Thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you in next video.